Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary folk. What's going on? We are now just one episode away from being done with the first season of The Promised Neverland. And episode 11 is fucking amazing. It just fucks your brain right the fuck up. You know, it, it basically... It pulls the wool from over your eyes. <laughs> it is fucking insane. Like, all the things you think you know, is not fucking true. It's fucking crazy. And I guess I should say this now, and in the last episode of this fucking series. But spoiler alert! <laughs> because, holy fucking shit. So, as last episode left off, uh, Emma and Ray were having a bit of a chit chat. And Ray explained that the plan, he, he had this plan. And he was going to basically set the fucking house on goddamn fire. And he explains this from basically the get go. Of this episode. Um, and. Is like. Yeah. We're going to burn the house down. We're basically going to box. Uh, we're going to box. Mom into a corner basically. And. You know. Force her hand. And. God damn. So. He starts dumping all of this oil. Just a shit ton of oil. <laughs> on. Just fucking on the ground. And then he decides to pour this shit on him fucking self. And he's basically like. I'm the most important fucking kid here. I'm the highest. I'm the highest scorer. You know. I'm basically like prime grade A Wagyu fucking beef. To these sick fucks. Right? And so if... You know, if I'm on fire... She's going to prioritize me... Because, you know, one, I'm going to be... Shipped out tomorrow. And I'm, like, again... Pre you know, fucking Wagyu... Fucking beef. To these fucking monsters. So... Basically, smash cut to Mama in her in her in the nursery with the babies. Oh, Ray also says this. He's like, you know, you should probably forget about the babies. Uh, just you know, leave them here. It's for their benefit and for your benefit. And you know. Fucking just, you know, lights a match, drops it. So then a smash cuts again to, you know, baby, you know, mom with the babies, uh, you know, wishing them good night, kissing them good night, you know, checking up on them. And then you hear Emma scream Ray. Well, mom is like, what the fuck? You know, runs to where this was. And he's like, smells basically burning flesh. Opens up the door. No backdraft, which is kind of bullshit, because you open the fucking door. Anyway. So, so goes in. Is like, oh shit. You know, basically, you know, tries to put the fire out. You know, she's like, Emma, you need to get out of here so you don't die. Also, she says, like, you know, as long as, long as I can save his brain. Uh, so, you know, she, Emma's basically started to run. You know, start the fucking escape procedure. And so... Uh, Mama starts, you know, running away from, you know, to, ch to chase Emma... She comes to a dead end. 
looks at her thing. Her her kid scouter, you know, her kid Dragon Ball scouter, looks and it's dead end with a bucket. Also, Norman's super dead, by the way. Apparently, could still be fucking alive, but you know, apparently he's super dead. He left this whole planet, which we'll get to. But it's bucket. She moves the bucket, severed fucking ear. So this bitch chopped her own fucking ear off. So she's booking it. She's booking it, gets to the woods. Meets up with all these people. All these kids. So... uh, uh, Fucking... You then see Ray there. Flashback to when Ray dropped this, uh, the match. Emma runs, catches it, stops it from going up. She fucking, like, punches her, slaps him in the fucking head, and is like, Do you still want to die, you dumb, you know, basically, you blockhead? You dumb shit, you fucking idiot. <laughs> and so, kids, you know, two kids, two smaller kids come by. It's like, Well, yeah, we have everything, whatever. Um,. Basically, it's it's a change of clothes for Ray and his boots, or their you know the kids' boots. Um. Then this fucking plan is just insane. By the way, um. So okay. Uh, they basically get a lot of like pig product because pigs are very close to humans in a lot of ways so it's like his like rope clothes and fucking meats of various meats and then it's revealed that Norman is the one who thought of this fucking thought of this whole plan and he thought it up a, a while ago like, when he climbed the, the wall, saw that it was a fucking cliff, you know, he thought of this whole plan. It's, it's in this whole montage. And it's explained that Emma knew about Ray wanted to kill himself because Norman knew that Ray wanted to kill himself to help everybody get out. Which is why he's like, you can't, you can't save everybody. You can't save everybody. So it's like, he's not including, like, everybody else can get saved, but he won't get saved. Like, he is sacrificing himself so everybody else can get out. So, like, that was the whole plan. Like, that was, that was whole, Ray's whole plan. Focus, you know, focus everybody on me, let everybody get out. And he's like, it's kind of perfect because, you know, he basically just watched... And used a lot of his family to, to figure out all the fucking things. You know, all the <laughs> ideas and all that sort of shit. So then it's like... So, okay, so those two kids. Those two kids are know about everything. And the reason they know about everything is because Emma said, we need to tell more kids. We need to tell more kids about the truth about this shithole. About this fucking hellhole and what it is. And Norman's like, yeah, it's kind of risky. You know, whatever. So, um, so remember in the one episode previous, one of the episodes previous to this, when I said that uh, Crone basically sussed out whatever the fuck about, you know, um, you know, it's basically like, oh, you know, I know all these things, you know all these things that I, now I know that you know, and shit like this. So during that, Don, I want to say it's Don, Don and Gilda led four other kids to her door and heard that shit, heard the shit about the farm and all this other shit from Sister Crone's own mouth. And then they slowly started to disseminate the information to other kids. 
So. <laughs> Fuck. Um. So then it's like, okay, so. Emma was basically despondent. I, I talked about that the last episode. Emma was despondent. You know, just kind of like sitting, you know, fucking dead eye. And. So she, that, that was used because it was basically. She did it so that way Mama would be looking at her and nobody else. That she'd be the focus of her tension. And she also used it as a way to fucking, fucking, to, to give out orders to her now, like, fucking terrorist cell, basically. To, to her freedom fighting cell. Like, she would use it as a way to give out orders, basically. To her, again, to her, to her brethren in the freedom fighter cell which is pretty fucking genius um some of it's convoluted kind of some of it's a little bit um a little bit I just, you know it's whatever it's like it, it totally could have like it's like it, there was no little hint that it was a thing but it's not like it could not have happened. Like it's 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 a little bit convoluted because there's no little breadcrumbs before it. As far as I, I've got to rewatch the entire fucking series to see if that, you know, if there are any breadcrumbs. But I didn't notice any breadcrumbs to this shit. It's okay. So f go back to Mama. She finds Emma's ear. She's like, oh shit. And then she's like, well, what were those kids wearing? And then she realized that all of the kids were wearing their outside clothes. Not their not their pajamas. They were literally wearing their fucking, you know, outdoorsy shit, you know, clothes. And she's like, oh, shit. So they're running. And then, okay, so the kids get to the wall. And they're like, okay, well, I'm going to... Me and Nat are going to climb the wall. And we'll pull everybody else up. So... And there's this fucking... Fucking the thing that Crone left over for Norman is like a linchpin at fucking thing. Um, it's she gives it to fucking Norman and it's not really it wasn't revealed in this episode what the fuck was in it. It was just like this big, you know, secret fucking thing. <laughs> so which this is kind of, kind of, it's like, okay, what the fuck could it, because they're going to try and go through the wall, or they're going to go along the wall to the bridge and then you know, climb down or whatever. Whatever is fucking going to happen. One, one episode left. <laughs> fucking, so, okay. And then, so Mama is left staring at the fucking house burning down, and she's like, well... It's all burning, and she has a fucking mental breakdown. And then she's like, "Okay, you know that means that okay, Emma's alive, Ray's alive. So, I you know, like I'm gonna go find you know these kids. I'm gonna basically probably go and kill all these kids because they fucking know whatever. I'm not gonna let them go. And then George, that little fucking kid, who had that depressing fucking scene with Emma." Tugs on like the back of her clothes and is like, Mama? And like, that's how the episode fucking ends. So it's like, is he a fucking sleeper agent? Is he just someone they couldn't, like, are they just leaving? I don't fucking know. It's a whole fucking thing. <laughs> well, the best part is, I think I mentioned about burning the house to the ground in the previous episode before I actually saw this episode. I was just like, they're probably gonna burn some shit down. But yeah, so fucking, it's a thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the episode, uh, episode eleven. Now just have to, I'm gonna watch episode twelve and do a review of that. So have a good day. This this episode and all episodes are in the playlist, the Promise Neverland reviews. Go watch my previous episodes in this, and go watch the fucking you know episodes on Crunchyroll I think they're on uh yeah it's 
the show's a fucking mindfuck. And I honestly just, like, I can't wait for a season two. Because, like, I, I can't wait to see what happens in the end of the fucking series. Like, the, the season. And how they fucking continue it into the second season. Uh, yeah. Ta-da, everybody. Have a wonderful fucking day. <laughs>